Dr. Swachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. We just talked about varicocele in our last video. How is it diagnosed? and what are the treatment options is the topic for today. Varicocele basically can be diagnosed by a physical examination or by diagnostic procedures. In a physical examination, it's very clearly evident if the severity is more that there is reduction in the size of testis and the veins can also be visualized. If the severity is more and the veins are intertwined, they look like a bag of worms. So it's very, very possible to diagnose it physically as well with physical examination by a urologist or your fertility specialist. Usually varicocele is commonly seen on the left side of the testis. Between the two testis, the left side is where varicocele commonly occurs. There have been many studies to understand this, but there is no conclusion about this, but it's commonly seen on the left side and size also is reduced because of the presence of varicocele. How it is diagnosed is depending upon your urologist, whether they don't want to do a ultrasonography, it's a color flow ultrasonography by which they see the severity of the problem or they can also do a venogram. They can also perform a venogram where a dye is passed into the veins and the presence of varicocele can be evidently seen. So this is how they can be very sure about the presence of varicocele and how severe the problem is. There are many treatment options. Mostly open surgery ligation is performed when this problem is very severe where you are sedated and uh, the vein that is clotting is cut and then the veins are sutured back again. The problem area is totally removed and then proper flow can also be achieved. This can result in flow of blood into healthy areas as well and therefore result in brain reduction and proper sperm production as well. The second option is varicocele embolization where the problem area is tied up. It is you know with a balloon catheter and many many more options. The problem area can be tied up and therefore blood flow to that area is limited and uh, it is diverted to other areas of the testis where this problem is not there and blood flow is therefore compromise. So if the blood flows to the other areas, other healthy areas as well, the size of the testis can be improved, the sperm production can also be improved. Depending upon your severity, your urologist or your male fertility specialist will decide on your treatment options. If you want to understand more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.